Hello and good evening to you all. When I say good evening to you all, I said it with a vibration. That vibration should regenerate into something beautiful. When I say something beautiful, just imagine what we have gone through in one year. Just imagine how we shaped our lives in one year. You've been without hesitant, been beautifully settled down into your sofa or to your bed, onto your cushion, onto your bean bag, or at your table. You created an office space at home. Now, whatever you created as a comfort for yourself in pursuing, no, in pursuing, no, in finding the comfort for yourself, you generated something that is worthwhile for you, that you became comfortable, capable, useful and put a lot of emphasis in how to get things right that works for you. Similarly, we have been introduced that what was written down in big letters at a corporate level was much more beneficial through lines of supply, complications of supply chains, costs, and also chain stores like your coffee, like your fast food, like your clothing, like your food stores like your utility stores, like your shoe shops, like your clothes shops, all of those that was on the high street, down your street, down in your village, down in your community, in your towns, in your community, got completely your fishmonger, just imagine, the baker, the laundryman, all of that got decimated by corporations. Why? Because we look for our convenience, our comforts. In turn, we created monsters Mega monsters. Yes, the lights went off. The mega monsters then created what you call automation. Things that automatic. Everything became a click scan where somebody who was there to communicate with you, pass your shopping through the till, had an interaction with you, was no longer. It was this massive stores, 10 different sizes, 20 different colors, not the one you want. When you went to the supermarket, which banana to buy? Which shape should it be in? The organic, the value of food, what it's meant, the real nutrient, in that banana was not a concern as long as it was certain length and it was straight and it did not have anything that had any signatures of organic production or organic organic produce in its skin the banana skin so like that, you have a great opportunity. Instead of going to your 
mobile payment coffee store, maybe, or topped up automatically as it drops down to five pounds or two dollars, you could now go to your so-called your truly organic and beautiful coffee shop just few doors down your road or in your community and stop by just at the handmade bakery nip into the little corner shop and find some organic beautiful berries in your cereal store or in the organic fruit and vegetable store, you may find a beautiful cereal sack which has opened and you took your own little cereal jar, the multi-cereals, the millet. Just imagine one time our grandparents, our parents, they ate what was seasonally available and produced from the local farmers. Like, for example, Italy, France, the squares, the piazzas. They came with their produce, came down in the morning. Parents, grandparents, they went down the steps they came up to the piazza, had a beautiful fresh air. And then they took their lovely wicker basket or they took their beautiful cloth bag, bought the fruits and vegetables, brought it home. So proud, even though you didn't grow or you didn't have your fingers in the soil, yet it was absolutely you felt that you have had a nutritious food in the basket. You don't have to eat just by looking at it. You'll be filled with vitamins, minerals, the energy you needed. You didn't, you didn't order it and it was all delivered and you didn't step out an inch. You stuff all of this down today, made almost two months ago, frozen, and then delivered and frozen and transported into a more bonded warehouses filled with refrigerators, only to be delivered into another freezer on the shop floor to be brought home and put it into a freezer and you put it in an oven. Just imagine the amount of you're not eating food, you're eating paper, you're eating rubber, you're eating plastics. The waste that we created, the food that we ingest stuck to our bellies, we couldn't get rid of our belt. It seems like a stuck on belt that is keep bulging. And that's how I feel. Now I find a store five or six miles away from me that I have to walk if I want something to eat. Why don't we bring our beautiful organic food, fruit stalls, our organic clothes shops? Why don't we reignite the organic, vegetarian, healthy, living environment for us all. Now we got all the technology to hand. It has only pushed us away from being healthy, being useful, being energetic, and being finding solutions to our health concerns and our health issues, our individual health concerns. How do we increase our involvement in making what we like, what we want to do? 
you are all empowered by technology and the, the, the science and knowledge today. You have devices that what 10,000 people could not do today, a one person can do. Yet, have we been empowered or have we been crippled by these tools that would have given us the opportunity to create so many different variants of innovative ideas for our new world that we are planning for. You can also be the, the next futuristic, the car manufacturer. You can also be the next futuristic organic clothing manufacturer of the planet. You could also be the next conscious green environmentally naturally balanced business entrepreneur. How does that sound for you? Are you ready for these challenges with the situations facing us? Because every situation we face, there's thousands, if not infinite possibilities of finding the grand solutions if it works for you as a human being, regardless of gender these days, everything is unisex. Everything should fit. Our minds fit without a gender or an identity. Our minds should fit to the planet's phenomena, the life phenomena. Everything we should put our hands on, must find a beautiful expression. Everything we do should have a profound impact. It's not how many you impact, it's how profound is what you are doing that will impact. I wish you luck, I wish you energy and the grand ideas that you can put to work for the humanity to blossom and thrive. People will find energizing and uplifting encouragement by collectiveness, by individual innovative and brilliant ideas at the same time. We could also be a lending and an extension to the others who can also benefit from us and that we benefit all along the way. That no one person, no one corporation, no one entity gets it all, but everyone along works it so that every one of us benefits along the way. So that I would not need to steal from you. I would not need to protest. I would not need to look for my rights and this and the other. Because all of this comes because of access to necessities of life. If you create the the balance condition and allowing humanity to blossom and give access to the basic necessities of life. Clean air, clean water, arable land for organic food, that the land that produce, the mud that turns into food needs to be pure, organic and healthy as our bodies must be. Our minds and our bodies are a direct reflection of how our earth lives, how we treat the earth that we walk upon. So may I please encourage every one of you to be an entrepreneur, a billionaire, 
with ideas of billions and trillions ideas instead of parting your money, your hard earned money with some individual sat in an ivory tower making as to how much an item must cost and how much access you have to the resources. We mustn't encourage few individuals to have access to all of us in the sense that our access should be that all of us are interwoven, that we walk and we work and we are woven as a fabric as this world and the planet and the existence it is. That life is a complex transaction of so much going on. And we can so also be that same small transactions and that create into a more woven, beautiful fabric of life here on earth.